Comodoro Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport Spanish, Aeropuerto Internacional Comodoro Arturo Marino Benitez IATA, SCL, ICAO, SCEL, also known as Santiago International Airport and Nuevo Putaquel Airport, located in Putaquel, 15 km miles northwest of downtown Santiago, is Chile's largest aviation facility and the busiest international airport in the country. Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport has domestic and international services to destinations in Europe, Oceania, Asia and the Americas. In 2011 it was the ninth busiest airport in Latin America and the sixth busiest in South America by passenger traffic. It was the seventh busiest airport in Latin America by aircraft movements, serving 124,799 operations. Its location in Chile's most populated area, as well as in the central part of the country makes of it an ideal main hub and maintenance center for most local airlines such as LATAM and Sky Airline. LATAM Airlines accounts for approximately 82% of the airport's total commercial operations. The airport is owned by the Chilean government and has been operated since October 2015 by Nuevo Putaquel, a consortium of companies formed by Aeroports de Paris, France, Vinci, France, and Astaldi, Italy. Air traffic control is handled by the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, Chile. Its ICAO category is 4F. The airport functions as a joint civil-military facility. It is the headquarters of the Chilean Air Force 2nd Air Brigade and where its 10th aviation group is based. Santiago International is the longest non-stop destination for most European carriers including Iberia, Air France, Alitalia and British Airways from their respective hubs in Madrid Barajas Airport, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Rome Leonardo da Vinci Fiumicino Airport and London Heathrow Airport. In addition, LATAM flies to Frankfurt via Madrid. The airport is also South America's main gateway to Oceania, with scheduled flights to Sydney, Auckland, Easter Island, Papeete and Melbourne. The Santiago, Rome non-stop flight operated by Alitalia is the longest flight to ever fly out of this airport. History Early years The demands of the growing metropolitan area of Santiago and the need for modern, jet-era airport facilities, which could safely accommodate both domestic and intercontinental flights, drove the need to relocate the Chilean capital's principal airport from Los Cerrillos Airport in the denser southwest metropolitan region of Santiago to the more rural northwest metropolitan area. Construction of the original terminal building, the Eastern Runway 17L-35R, Control Tower, East Apron and Cargo Facilities commenced in 1961. On February 2, 1967, the airport was commissioned Aeropuerto Internacional de Putaquel, due to its location in the municipality of Putaquel. On March 19, 1980, the airport was rechristened Air Commodore Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport in honor of the founder of the Chilean Air Force and Chilean carrier LATAM Chile. Topic: 1994 expansion. The facility was expanded in 1994 with a new international terminal that covered 90,000 square meters, inspired by the architecture of Marseille-Provence Airport in France. The building is located between the two parallel runways. This expansion added a new control tower, jetways, a duty-free zone, hotel, and greater parking area. The old terminal was used for domestic flights until 2001, when all passenger operations were merged into the same building. In 2000, Land Chile joined OneWorld, making of Arturo Marino Benitez Airport a main hub for the alliance, its first one in Latin America and its second in the Southern Hemisphere after Qantas Sydney Kingsford Smith International Airport in Australia. As of April 2014, 71% of international and 75% of domestic passengers were carried by OneWorld member airlines. During the 2010 Chile earthquake, the passenger terminal building suffered internal damages and the collapse of a pedestrian bridge between the vehicle ramp and the departures area. 
Nevertheless, both runways and control tower were unharmed, allowing the realization of a massive humanitarian air bridge held by the Chilean Air Force to Concepcion, Chile Carriol Sur International Airport, close to the most damaged area by this earthquake and subsequent tsunami. The airport authority had closed off all commercial flight operations after around 1200 UTC on February 27, resuming full operations on March 3, 2010. In 2011, IATA recognized the DGAC, Chile's provider of air navigation services, and SCL, Santiago Airport, with the exceptional recognition award to the cooperative efforts of SCL and DGAC Chile that facilitated a quick recovery from the devastation that followed the Chilean earthquake on the 27th of February. 2010. Both airport and air navigation services were restored quickly with no impact on rates or charges for passengers or airlines. DGAC Chile and SCL are widely regarded as leaders in Latin America for efficiency, quality, and customer focus. In June 2011, Santiago International Airport received the Air Cargo Excellence Award as the best Latin American cargo airport. Second runway Construction on runway 17R, 35L began in 2004 and opened to traffic in September 2005. However, within months defects were discovered and the runway required repairing, completed in January 2006. Unfortunately further study of the problem discovered that the initial repairs were insufficient, needing additional work. Finally, 17R, 35L reopened for traffic in March 2007. Topic: 2020 Master Plan and Expansion. In 2008, the airport terminal reached its maximum design capacity of 9.5 million annual passengers, two years earlier than forecast, and with the repairs needed after the 2010 Chile earthquake, the Ministry of Public Works announced in 2012 that it would call for proposals for the expansion and administration of the airport, two years prior to the end of the contract with the current operator. The ministry decided to investigate a new airport master plan instead of an expansion of the single passenger terminal building, as initially proposed by the current operator. The feasibility studies for this master plan cost 4,560 million Chilean pesos .4 million United States dollars considered in the 2011 fiscal budget. For this new master plan, the government hired the consultancy services of Aéroports de Paris Ingenierie (ADPI), the architecture, engineering and technical branch of the French Airport Corporation. The master plan took into account a capacity growth to 14 million annual passengers by 2014, 34 million by year 2034 and 50 million passengers by 2045. New detached passenger terminal buildings for international and domestic flights, additional commercial areas and the construction of a light railway connecting the airport with the Santiago Metro network were considered. In June 2013, the Chilean Ministry of Public Works started phase 1 of the airport expansion. On February 4, 2015, the consortium Nuevo Putaquel Formed by French companies Aéroports de Paris 45%, Vinci Airports 40%, and Italian infrastructure company Astaldi 15%, won the bidding process to manage and develop the airport for 20 years since October 1, 2015. The main missions of the new administration will be the renovation of existing installations with the redesign and extension of the current terminal, the funding, design and construction of a new 175,000 square m terminal which will increase the airport's capacity to 30 million passengers, with potential for expansion beyond 45 million, the operation and commercial development for the duration of the concession 20 years of the main infrastructures, existing terminal and new terminals, car parks and future property developments. Building works will be executed by Astaldi 50% of Conception Construction Pool and Vinci Construction Grand Projets 50%. == Passenger terminal The terminal building has four levels. Ground floor, arrivals, duty-free shop, baggage claim, customs and border control, transport services, parking areas, hotel access. First floor, administrative offices, VIP lounges, access through the second floor. 
second floor, departures, check-in areas, border control police, duty-free shops, restaurants, boarding halls and gates. Third floor, restaurants and VIP check-in areas LATAM, the terminal building hosts the following services Bank Office, Chilean Automobile Club, Telecommunication Companies Claro, Movistar and Entel PCs, Pharmacy, Travel Agencies, Insurance Offices and a Police Station Carabineros de Chile. Shopping The airport has four tax-free shops. They are handled by the Spanish duty-free operator Aldesa. One of them is located just after the police border control at departures, while another one is located before the baggage claim area. Souvenirs, jewelry, Chilean handcrafts and wine shops, music and accessories among others, are available in more than 70 stores. Restaurants The airport has 21 restaurants, coffee shops and bars, located in the public area and in the national and international departing lounges. Topic airline lounges In the international terminal, the operators are, LATAM Airlines Lounge, located on 4th and 5th floor. Access after passport control. Access for LATAM's premium business class travelers, LATAM Pass or LATAM Fidelidade Platinum, Black and Black Signature frequent flyers, as well as OneWorld Sapphire and Emerald Tier status members. American Airlines Admirals Club, located next to Boarding Gate 19. O Access for Admirals Club members, A Advantage Platinum and Executive Platinum Elite Frequent Flyers, Double A International Premium Class, One World First and Business Class Passengers, as well as One World Sapphire and Emerald Tier Status members. Delta Air Lines Sky Club, located next to Boarding Gate 17. Access for Delta Sky Club members, Delta's passengers traveling in the Delta One Cabin or on Skyteam Alliance Premium Cabin and Skyteam Elite Plus Tier Status members. Avianca Sala VIP, located by Gate 12B, one floor below departures level. Access for Avianca's international business class passengers, LifeMiles Elite members Silver, Gold and Diamond levels, as well as Star Alliance Silver and Gold tier status frequent flyers. Pacific Club, Priority Pass. Topic hotels Holiday Inn Hotels finished the construction of a five-floor building in July 2007, internally connected to both terminals international and domestic. The hotel has 112 rooms, restaurants, bars, room service, a conference hall for 170 people, gym, covered swimming pool, spa and Wi-Fi internet access. Hotel Diego de Almagro is located 2 kilometers outside the airport area. The Hilton Garden Inn Santiago Airport Hotel is located 2.8 km from the Santiago International Airport within the Enya, one of the largest business complex in Santiago de Chile which hosts offices, industry and entertainment. The hotel has 144 rooms, a fitness center, indoor swimming pool, sauna, seven meeting spaces including a ballroom and business center. The LQ Hotel Santiago Airport La Quinta Inns and Suites is under construction and will be the newest hotel near the airport and the first LQ Hotel in Chile. The hotel is located 2.8 km from Santiago International Airport. The hotel will have a restaurant, indoor swimming pool, fitness center, Wi-Fi, business center and meeting space. 3. Topic military functions The airport is the headquarters of the Chilean Air Force 2 Air Brigade and hosts the 10th Aviation Group facilities. The 10th Aviation Group is in charge of strategic air transportation, the Airborne Early Warning and Control Squadron, medical air transport emergencies and the air transportation of the President of Chile. Some of its units are C-130 Hercules, Boeing 767-300, Boeing 737 Classic, Gulfstream 4, CASA C-212 Aviocar, F-16 Fighting Falcon, AEW and C Condor. The FIDAE, Latin America's most important air show takes place in the 10th Aviation Group facilities. <laughs> Airlines and destinations. Topic. Passenger Notes 
Carat of the LATAM Chile flight to Frankfurt has a stop in Madrid, where passengers are allowed to deplane and or board the aircraft. The same aircraft used until Madrid then continues to Frankfurt under the same flight number, the same occurs on the return flight. Cargo Statistics Ground transportation Roads Arturo Marino Benitez is about 17 km by car from Santiago's city centre. The airport is well served by the six-lane expressway Costanera Norte exit number 31, which crosses through the city from west to east bordering the Mapocho River, while it is also well connected to the west, north and northeast of Santiago by the Vespucio Norte Express Ring Motorway exit number 18. <laughs> Taxi and shuttle services There are two official airport taxi services, Taxi Oficial and Taxi VIP. Transvip shuttle services reach most of Santiago's hotels, business and residential districts. Bus Centropuerto buses connect the airport with Los Aeroes station of Santiago Metro. Their frequency is every 10 minutes during weekdays and 15 minutes during weekends. Turbis offers a similar service to its Alameda terminal. Both these services stop at the Pajaritos Metro Station – Bus Terminal on the way. Rental services Car rental services are available from the airport. Topic. Accidents and incidents On April 28, 1969 Land Chile Flight 160, a Boeing 727 arriving from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Ministro Pastorini International Airport, crashed short of runway, 24 km north of Colina, Chile 50 km. North of Arturo Marino Benitez Airport. None of the 60 passengers and crew were injured in the accident, but the aircraft was written off. See also Transport in Chile List of airports in Chile